Hello, welcome back to Epic Rolls here with more Chrono Cross Blind for the Sony PlayStation. In the last episode, we defeated Hydra and we got Moogle, which is our new party member. Not gonna bring him into the party yet because Velik is going to get some more time. Wasn't there a portal here? Oh, there we go, Astral Amulet. I need to use it first, silly me. There we go. And we're now back in Velik's world. Ah, <laughs> Velix world sounds kind of funny. Okay, so we know there's a portal here then. That's nice. Oh yeah, I didn't realize until now that they had different uh, uh, world map themes. But yeah, that makes sense. I can't actually remember the names of the songs uh, because both are from Chrono Trigger. These are just remixes. But I don't remember the name of the songs. Not currently. But oh well, we shall explore the Hydra Marshes. But in the other world. Didn't you know they died out years ago? You won't find any of them here in El Nido now. If you're wondering what happened, just look about you. The ecosystem that kept the water clean has been destroyed. Now the water is just pools of acid. What once was a beautiful living woodland has now become a dead forest. Good thing that uh, we did not kill the forest ourselves then. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're gonna take heavy damage here. What's this then? What are you guys done walking around this marsh in such light clothing? <sighs> Damn amateurs! Don't expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. Maybe there's a way to go through here after all. Okay, we found a tablet. So, we're gonna go up here first. To see if the area looks the same. Yeah, it does look the same up here actually. That's pretty interesting. Nothing too special, however. Not yet, at the very least. You know what? Let's use the Biba flute. Okay, it doesn't work here. So there's a save point there still. Don't really find it necessary to use that. We have a treasure chest up there now. And probably an ambush too. Electro jolt. So we've got a elemental there. Or element. Okay, there's someone here. Hey, hey, hey! You gotta be crazy to walk around this forest without protective gear. I have an extra set with me. Take him! This way, you'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. Oh, sweet, we get safety gear. Should probably equip it. Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. Oh, I'm sure we'll find a way. Wait, what is this? Shift attributes of element attack to use the weapon. Huh. So where is the protective gear, or is that something that is equipped automatically, perhaps? Hmm... Is this better or worse? Thirty... Oh, it's worse, never mind. 
Brass rod, okay. I could give a better evade, but at the same time... Uh, I'm gonna give her the bronze helmet, though. To make sure that she's at least guarded. Somewhat. Okay, he doesn't have anything better there. I could give him the uh, ivory helmet. But I think antitoxical cap would be better. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, equipped automatic then. Unless, of course, it's uh, something here. Oops. But first of all, let's heal up. Somewhat, at least. Oops, Relic is almost dead. But then again, he's blue, so it's probably some weakness he has. Mm -hmm. Can I have several cures? Oh, neat. Electro Jolt is a level 2 one. You know what? When I think about it, I'm gonna give uh, the Aqua Ball to uh, Velik. Okay, there we go. We're done here. Or at least with the equipment. As for items. Okay, there we go. Poison resistant clothing that an exploration party had spared to lend to amateur adventurers. So that's nice. Not sure if I'm supposed to use it or something though. Or if it's automatically used. If you want to go deeper into the forest, you need the proper equipment and a means to control those strange plants. Yeah, we don't we can't control those plants too, can we? Oh, we can actually use the Biba flute here. Nice. Hey, wait! You're just looking for trouble if you blow that flute here. Okay, we're not allowed to use that here. Can't go through there, sadly. And up here is nothing, right? Yeah. So I suppose the save will come in handy then. And we might as well use it. But we apparently have no means to control the flowers. How will we solve that one, I wonder? Probably gonna get an item later on in the game that let us control those. So, let us save. Okay, there we go. Gonna save on this one, still. Okay, there we go, good. Can I play the flute here, though? Nah. Okay, it only has one use and we're done with it, apparently. Gotta give the game some credit of how you use the key items. That's actually a pretty neat feature which they've added. At least in my opinion. So, okay, it's too slippery to climb still. I'm gonna try to fight this um, cockroach kind of enemy. To see what kind of enemy it is. Can't torpedo, okay, that makes sense. And they're yellow, which means water is effective, right? No, wait, the uh, grass. Oh, look at that, she actually attacks both, nice. She doesn't do much damage, but she attacks all of them, which is nice. Giddy breath. Okay, 29. I'm actually curious of Aqua Ball. So, we're gonna use that. Well, it looks nice at the very least. 49 damage, so not very effective then. Just gonna let him attack regularly. Okay, he's using Giddy Breath as well. On Reita. Yeah, that was dangerous indeed. Gonna go ahead and do this, the Ray Star. On this one. It's gonna do over 100 damage. 
which is really nice. Yeah, 112. But apparently these guys have a lot more HP than I anticipated. Should have healed. Recover all. You know what? Might as well. Considering that both Valak and Radar has been damaged. Okay, so these enemies are quite strong then. Which is very unfortunate for me. So I don't think I want to go through the marshes yet. We'll do that eventually. Instead. Considering how much these enemies crush me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do a bushwhack, bush basher on this guy. It's doing 127 damage and it's still alive. Yeah, these guys are tough, all right. Let's see how our also two plus two will do. 61. So not bad damage-wise, but not terrifically good either. Considering how much HP these guys truly have. Especially when my attacks barely do any damage. Except for, of course, with Grotus. But the good thing is, though, they don't damage me much, and this guy's almost dead now, it seems. So I have that going, which is nice. Let's see. Only heal and turn green. That's not gonna help much. Okay, he, he barely does any damage. Okay, Grotus did not damage enough, sadly. Uh oh, better heal. Yeah, I think it's better to actually heal up right now. It's not gonna heal much, sadly. But it's gonna do some healing. Okay, it healed more than I thought it would. Not bad then. I do have Bush Basher, which I probably should use on this guy. But we're gonna use it on this instead. To make sure that he is dead. Or that he dies. Okay, Rate that's almost dead again. Should probably heal her then. Gonna spend up my magic here. Okay, better than nothing, really. And she does have an arrow saucer after all, so that will do some nice damage, I believe. Yeah, it did enough to kill it. But I don't think I'm truly ready for this place. We're gonna leave it alone for a while. At least everyone's HP went up by one, except for relics, of course, but eh. Okay, these enemies are too dangerous then. At least for me to take care of right now. You know what, I wonder if the flute works. Nah, doesn't. Fair enough. So, let's leave the marshes behind. I do believe we have everything in Fossil Valley. So we're gonna go for Divine Dragon Falls, check out the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're still pretty pissed at us then. I wonder if I can use the Biba flute. Nope. How about the big egg? Nah. Not that either. Heavy skull. Pelvic bone. Aroma pouch. Angry scapula. Safety gear. Either humor. No. Astral amulet. Okay, nothing. Fair enough. We'll just go and heal the rest then. I would like to re enter uh, Viper Mansion eventually. 
but for now, I don't think that's a good idea. So, we're gonna head through here. Actually, do we have anything else left to do here? I wonder. Nope. Well, we do have the area down below. So, I suppose we'll enter Terminal then. So again, there's still one character we can get somewhere here. Since I saw that on the screen. I'm gonna check for someone that kinda looks like Glenn. Unless, of course, we have missed that character since, well... Uh, we have already encountered Soa in the for uh, Shadow Forest and all. What was inside of here? Don't really remember. Oh yeah, this. This was just a shop. Okay, can I open this door when the text is done? Yes, I can. There we go. Maybe there's something here inside we can pick up. Just the other day, I went on my usual trip to the Shadow Forest to gather wild plants. Believe it or not, I found a rare blue tip mushroom. How about that? Do you end him now? Uh, not really. Hmm, looks like you don't appreciate mushroom at all. Oh well, never mind. Okay, then I'm gonna tell you a big secret. Hey, beside the forest, there's a very large tree. This tree has a big hole in it. Oh, I see rare mushrooms. So, let's see if I'm enemy then. Okay, and he tells us the big secret again. I wonder if I can give him something. Nah, he doesn't react to it. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything else there. Uh, I will run around and check out a few houses. Just to make sure. Then again, if I were a silver clothed guy, I would probably hang out at the bar. Okay, it's locked. Hmm. Terminal is actually pretty nice. Okay, there's no one there, really. How about any of the other houses? You know, like this one? I don't think I ever entered it the last time. No, I did not. And I ran out again. Because this house was very hard for me to open up. Well, it was a tad bit annoying, but oh well, what can you really do about it? Or did I enter this room? Not really sure. Yes, who might you be? Oh yeah, I did enter this room. Or house, rather. No, he died. I'm currently reworking his body. Yeah, I know that. I'm working on the pieces. Would you like to buy a Viper Shuro? How much is it? Only 100 G each. Hmm. Isn't that a bit much? Maybe next time. Uh, oh, come on. Hmm, that's odd. Okay, so I have been here before. 
When I have enough pieces for Skelly, I suppose we're supposed to go here and actually rebuild him or something. But that is for when I have the right amount of bones. Hopefully I haven't missed one. And I don't think the bone I found in my world is for Skelly. It wouldn't really make sense. Hmm. Oh yeah. This kid. Oh, she's actually asking us now. Uh, sure. That's odd, but sure, whatever. Uh, ah, there we go. Something here. Papa's ship Mary, okay. So, I'm not sure what I did now, but uh, apparently it was good. So we have to look for her father eventually. No, it's not me. I wonder who too. Maybe your mother. Or possibly you have a deadbeat father who leaves them. What do I know? So we have been almost everywhere in town. Don't have all that much to cut out either. That's not a room. Okay, that's our boat at the very least. Maybe it's someone near the stage. The person will definitely have a po uh, character portrait, that's for sure. Or maybe you can only get the character if um, you don't have Ceres with you. Maybe then you get Glenn. Oh well. Gotta head back full speed. Yes we do. And that is exactly what we shall do. Off we go. So this game does not have a real world map. I say and get the real world map, I'm an idiot. But I don't think we can travel freely on the world map. Not like in Chrono Trigger, but oh well, maybe we'll, do, we'll be able to do that later. Uh, okay, Valk is not with us. So we're actually gonna go with Moogle then this time. There we go, have the party. Let's rush that over to the doctor right away. Come on, you guys hurry too. Yeah, uh, we'll do that in the next episode actually. So, this has been Abogrodus. Thank you for watching, stay Frogger1, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.